The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Next, uh, we would like to hand over to counsel for Mr. Nunchi to continue putting questions to the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few more questions uh, for you today. This morning, you testified about the military structure of Division Ce matin, 801. My question to you is, uh, did this military structure exist Je voudrais savoir si cette structure also in April 1975. existait toujours en avril 1975. Response. Yes, it did. En effet, elle existait déjà. And this morning you Question. testified about reporting relationships Et around O Conseng. Did these exist in April 1975? Response. No, it didn't. No. Because I was not yet uh, in charge of the place. And did any of the command structures Question. at Division 801 or Okonseng, which you described this morning, exist in April 1975? Okonseng que vous avez décrit ce matin existait en avril 75. Response. Réponse. In 1975, such a system was en not yet in place. En 1975, ce système n'était pas encore en vigueur. The President, uh, International Le Président, Shooter, you may now proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il me semble que ces questions ne sont pas pertinentes dans la mesure où elles comportent des éléments d'erreur. Le témoin a toujours dit avoir voyagé vers la zone nord-est que vers fin 1975, avoir été affecté comme directeur du centre d'Okansen vers la fin 1976. Donc la question en rapport avec avril 1975 et Okansen n'est pas pertinente. To April 75 is not to chronologically speaking relevant. So uh, may the defense uh, put questions uh, that are meaningful and that correspond to what uh, the Merci, witness uh, has uh, already said. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, in, in answering the objection of the prosecutor, our point is to try to establish whether these military structures or reporting relationships si or command structures actually existed in April 75. Si so that's why exactly. we're asking questions in this respect to the witness. So I think uh, if they didn't exist, then uh, the witness si can and, and will answer pas, in such a way. So I think these questions are relevant. Je pense donc que mes questions sont tout à fait pertinentes. The President, uh, you may proceed, uh, Council. You can continue putting the question. The co-prosecutor did not appear to be objecting to the question, but uh, he wished uh, that you put the question relevant to the time when the witness was in charge of the Open Science Center se rapportant à la période pendant laquelle le, le témoin était responsable du Mr. centre Mr. de sécurité d'Okansan. Mr. Witness, 
Maître Kobe. Again, my, my question was whether in April 1975, whether you know whether si command structures at Division 801 or at Okonseng, which you described this morning, uh, exist. existed. Existed. Ces structures que vous avez décrites ce matin. Response. Réponse. In 1975, 801 structure was in place, but uh, as I told you, by 1975, the structure at Okonsang was not yet in place. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Bittes, you talked this morning um, about plans ce matin, vous avez uh, from the upper level, des plans uh, which were disseminated to the lower level. Qui avaient été aux échelons and when you used this, these terms this morning, this term this morning, what did you mean que with vous dire uh, upper level? Par échelon supérieur. But Response. Upper levels refer to Par senior authorities. For example, we have the battalion, the regiment, the, bataillon, the brigade, the and division. And the division. So people who belong to donc, these different levels are regarded as upper levels. Ceux qui faisaient partie de ces unités étaient considérés comme représentant l'échelon supérieur. Did you ever actually receive instructions from New Anchia jamais reçu or from any other leaders other than Sausarum. ou d'autres dirigeants à part Sausarum. Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. Apart non, from Sausarum, I did not receive any other instruction or orders. Je n'ai reçu d'instruction et d'ordre que de ça, ça so is it then Question. correct when I say that when you use the words upper echelon, it doesn't imply quand vous faites référence aux échelons supérieurs, command structures above so 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 vous ne vous parlez pas des structures de commandement supérieures à ça, ça ou poste qu'occupait ça, ça bah. Réponse. Response. Yes, it en is. This morning, Mr. Witness, you Question. stated that uh, at meetings with Sao Sarun, uh, many issues avec Sarun, uh, with Vietnam in regard to the uh, border vous de uh, issues or national sover sovereignty were often discussed. À la nationale, Could you dans le des tell what specifically à la avec these le Vietnam, many issues with Vietnam in fact were? Ces au Vietnam? Response. Response. I am afraid I cannot answer this question because I cannot recollect very well what je happened pas a question, very long time ago, and there is no document I can also refer to to describe in detail. Que je pourrais consulter pour vous donner les détails. Um, additionally, Mr. Witness, at these same meetings Question. with Sosarum, you stated this morning that you often had discussions regarding Sosarum, problems with internal and external um, sabotage. Du sabotage Could you elaborate on that? What 
types of sab sabotage were you referring to? What, do you, what did you mean type de when you said that? Faisiez-vous référence? Que, que vouliez-vous dire? Question. Euh, réponse. Response. I can neither explain this to you because uh, my memory is not as good non as it used to be. Ma mémoire n'est pas aussi bonne qu'elle était avant. I appreciate that, Mr. Withers. These events have taken place a long time ago. Question. Je comprends, Monsieur le Témoin, mais ces événements remontent à il y a très longtemps. The word sabotage. Mais vous avez and dit qu'il y avait du sabotage. Specific knowledge of certain events. Could you croire que vous avez try to go back into memory? Pouvez-vous peut-être faire un effort de mémoire et nous expliquer ce que vous vouliez dire quand vous avez employé le terme sabotage? Response. I cannot um, recollect the event. I'm afraid I cannot do that. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Mr. President, I have no further questions. Maître Copeland. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai plus de questions. Le Président. The President, thank you. Merci. National Co-counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia, you may now proceed. La parole est au Conseil national. Counsel Son Aron. Good afternoon, Mr. President and Your Honours, and good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I have a few remaining questions, and I will be very brief. J'ai quelques questions additionnelles à vous poser. Je serai bref. You testified on the 11th of January 2013 that when you joined the revolution in Takao, the, the Vietnamese troops did not exist as yet. But in 1970 and 1971, you were joined by the Vietnamese troops. Can you tell the chamber, please, were these Vietnamese troops from Hanoi or Viet Cong or the South Vietnam? Vietnamese response. After 18th of March, I Après le 18 joined mars, the army, the North Vietnamese soldiers, or the Viet Cong. Les soldats nord vietnamiens, le Viet Cong. And uh, we were not joined by the South Vietnamese soldiers. That happened in 1970. Mais, il n'y a pas eu de Soldats du Sud Vietnam. Thank you. En 70. Ah, hello, Banjo, but what? You joined the revolution in 1970. After you were convinced by the appeal by then Prince Norodom Sihanouk. Before you had joined the Viet Cong Revolution Army. Dans la, dans l'armée révolutionnaire. In 1970. En 1970. What was your life like? Pouvez-vous nous décrire ce que vous faisiez? Quelle était votre vie? Response. Before Réponse. I joined the army, I lived Avant as a poor peasant. J'étais un paysan pauvre. My life was 
as moderate as the other peasants. Je vivais la même vie que les autres paysans. Accord. Council, thank you. Question. Before 1975, you was in charge of the company supervising about a hundred soldiers. That was in your testimony in January 2013. I now would like to ask you to describe in detail uh, the structure of the company or the army. De you la compagnie dont vous aviez la charge. <coughs> Respond. Réponse. I again cannot tell you in detail concerning the command structure or administrative structure of the military because I cannot recollect every detail of this. Question. question. I am asking this because I would like to Je know from you, as the head savoir. of the company, indeed, uh, above the company, Vous étiez à la tête there de la was a battalion. Et au, Is that correct? La and du who would be the head of each? higher up uh, division or rather section. Respond. Réponse. You're talking about the hierarchy command Vous parlez de structure. La structure de commandement? During 1971, 72, and 73, uh, the top level was only the battalion. But after 1973 to 1974, there was a regiment. And then after 1975, the division existed on a créé la and I don't recollect all the names of the commanders uh, of each uh, unit company battalion or regiment because people came and went Car there were changes there were reshuffle of the command posts dans les postes de commandement Akon. council Thank you. Question. In 1970 Merci. and 1971, 1971, in your testimony, you stated that you cooperated with the Vietnamese troops. Vous avez dit que vous avec la, avec les and uh, you were and the division 801 under command of Sosarun. Can you tell the chamber in which battles uh, had you engaged? Pouvez -vous nous dire à quel combat vous avez participé? Response. I think uh, I may need uh, to talk in, at length about this. Je pense que je vais devoir vous donner une réponse longue. Southwest zone, there was a regiment Dans la zone sud-ouest, il existait un régiment qui menait des combats. Et puis, il y avait un régiment 152. Le and then by 1975, uh, we were joined uh, by Division 14, la division 14 and other forces uh, forces to engage in the battlefield. So I can bataille. see that uh, I had engaged in several battlefields, and it is difficult for me to precisely say which uh, battlefield I was engaged. Question. Under document E3-405, on question number one, question number one. 
I would read uh, this statement to you. You said that first. Vous avez dit. You work at Prabhat Ang Chum in Takao. Later on, you were sent to Chuk district of Kampot to join force with the North Vietnamese troops. And uh, at that time, you worked as a ordinary soldier, and that you had to join the uh, North Vietnamese troops to fight uh, against the Fao Vietnamese in the vicinity of Nirie in Chuk district. And there was bombing by the South et Vietnamese at that time. Later, we assembled forces at Srai Chang on oui. the Comport province border and divided the forces Chang, into two groups. They had de those of large bills attack into Kampong Spu city, and they had those of smaller build, uh, like myself, go cooperate Oscar with the Vietnamese army at the Vietnamese military, military headquarters de inside de Vietnamese territory. Vietnam. My Donc, question to you is, Vietnam. why were you assigned savoir, to work in Vietnam? Pourquoi? Did you go there on a study session? Response. Réponse. In short, the reason I said I went to Vietnam, I think uh, it was not properly quoted. I studied Vietnamese. I did not go to Vietnam to study anything. I had to learn the language so that we could communicate with the Vietnamese. And that's all. However, the other account in this statement Mais, is truthful. À part cela, le reste de la citation, question. c'est la vérité. So question. you take issue with the final statement which I just read écrit? out to you that uh, you did not go to Vietnam. Donc pas au Vietnam. So is that my understanding? Ai-je bien compris? Or is it correct that uh, you did not enter Vietnam? Donc, vous pas allé en territoire vietnamien. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is correct. Est I uh, studied in Cambodia, not in Cambodge. Vietnam. Pas au Vietnam. Akun. Council, thank you. Maître Sonarou. Merci. Question. Before you attacked Phnom Penh, you were the commander of a regiment. Is that correct? Vous étiez commandant de régiment Response. I was the deputy head. J'étais commandant adjoint. Council, thank you. As the deputy Question. commander Question. of the regiment, adjoint. Under Division 801, as division what you stated. 801. However, your testimony this morning before the co prosecutor and the counsels for the civil parties, you talked about bon, the command structure from upper levels to the lower levels. You appear to have known a lot about this from Vous division to en the platoon level. How did Vous you know about this? Comment did you acquire such knowledge through study sessions or you heard this through grapevine? Response. I learned about this through study sessions. Réponse. C'était dans le cadre de séances d'études que je l'ai appris.
question. Question. After you had entered Phnom Penh, what title did you have or hold? Quel rang occupiez-vous à votre arrivée à Phnom Penh? Response. It was in the same year, Réponse. so I was not année. promoted to a another new position. I had to poste. be on training Je to continue formation. studying so that I could control the troops. Pour pouvoir diriger les troupes. Question. You testified Question. that before any attack was dit? carried out, upper echelon would deliver the plan to you and other commanders. Vous avez dit avoir eu connaissance du plan avant le Can you please be more precise? as to whether in such orders you and other other soldiers Pouvez were forced or si were instructed to shoot vous avez reçu des uh, ordres soldiers de tirer or sur les soldats de l'ONU how you should treat them vous attendez for example. comment les traiter response réponse I don't uh, remember this quite well. However, Je enemies who were stubborn would uh, be warned. Les ennemis qui s'obstinaient nonetheless they avertis. could never be executed arbitrarily. On pouvait pas les exécuter de façon arbitraire. The battlefields Indeed, we engaged in fighting, and hostility could always happen because we exchanged fires, Good. and people on both sides would got uh, would get injured. However, blessés, we did not arbitrarily uh, uh, treat other sides uh, uh, in the battlefield, and we had to uh, properly le implement uh, the plan. Et il fallait and we had to exécuter le plan de um, withdraw the troops after we won the approprié battlefield et retirer nos soldats une fois Question. avoir remporté le champ de bataille as the head Question. of the regiment en tant que chef du régiment did you have to face a situation when you had to kill people confronté une situation où vous deviez tuer des gens but men Response: Yes, I did. Réponse. Because in oui. a situation uh, when we engaged in a serious and fierce fighting, Quand il y a des uh, it was time intense. when we had to engage in this uh, self-defense um, measure, se and we had to be very committed to ensure that. We Nous devions would be safe. tout faire pour assurer notre propre Question. sécurité. If you say it like that, I may go back a Question. little bit uh, to another point. À vous entendre, j'aimerais Before you un had point. to carry out uh, the plan to attack Avant Phnom Penh and as the head of the regiment. Offensive contre Phnom Penh en tant que chef de régiment. Were you resisted, or were you severely or strongly resisted uh, by the Lonol soldiers? And did you have to use forces to overcome this uh, kind of resistance? Pour, uh, cette résistance? Response. Réponse. In the city, the fighting was really fierce. Dans la ville, les Nonetheless, très we could intense. not really fire at uh, people étant, nous ne uh, without pas thinking very carefully about our strategic 
plan to en ignorant uh, attack notre plan stratégique liberate, uh, offensive Phnom Penh. We had to come all the way libération. through Pochentong Channel Nous and we planned this carefully. Passer par Question. Pochentong Until when le plan the été fighting seeded and until when your troops withdrew à quel moment les combats ont-ils pris fin et à quel moment vos forces se sont-elles retirées response i don't Réponse. remember the the detail but i think je ne me souviens pas des détails the 16 of april mais il me semble the situation du 16 avril more pleasant than the previous few days la situation and then we could easily move into the city à ce moment là nous avons pu facilement pénétrer dans you. la ville when so sarun came back from phnom penh quand sao sarun est rentré de phnom penh Sorry, I get confused. Excusez-moi. Je me reprends. With regards to the instruction from the upper ce qui concerne echelon, les instructions de l'échelon supérieur. And when you got into Phnom Penh, the fighting got pleasant. Did you receive any order en arrivant to à Phnom Penh Evacuate the civilian from the city. Avez-vous reçu in the area under your supervision? Les civils in your capacity as the que vous deputy commander of the company. De compagnie. But, 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 but. Answer: Yes. Réponse: Effectivement. This happened in all the battlefield. Cela After we liberated. The civilian, the people had to move Après out for a period in order to guarantee the security. Pour un temps afin de la security. However, with regards to the city, we had to be more careful. Toutefois, en ville, nous in some situation, our troops may be in danger. Car in danger. Nos troupes pouvaient être so after we go in, à we stay over dangers. there for a while and then we have to move Donc, out. Une we cannot stay over there. This is our measure. En ville, nous y sommes restés quelques temps. Accord. Avant de repartir, Council, voilà thank you. comment nous faisions. Right now, question. I would like to ask about the time when you j'aimerais vous interroger à présent. In you were in charge of the re-education re center in Ogunsein. Du centre de rééducation d'Ogunsein. You were in charge of the district re-education center in Ogunsein. Is it correct? Attaché au district. Answer. Réponse. I cannot hear clearly. Je n'ai pas bien entendu. Council. There were Question. educational centers for the district, Il y avait for the province. De there were à au district, à la hierarchy. Province. Il y avait là une certaine hiérarchie. It was the education. Dans votre cas, you were the chief of Ogunsein. Du Education Center. I would like to ask you whether it was the commune or the district. À la commune ou au Answer. That was for the division. Cela the compound was located in the district. Le complexe se trouvait right now it was called Bansu le district. district. Le district de Bansu, comme on l'appelle aujourd'hui. Right now, it was called Banlung District Council. Thank you. Et à présent, ça s'appelle Banlung. You testified that in that center. Question. You were overall in charge of the center. Vous étiez commandant de ce centre. Did you question or interrogate? Interrogate the accused directly. Que vous avez did you uh, did you question them by yourself? Les or other people were in charge of Ou bien asking gens questions. 
answer. The other expert who in charge of il y avait d'autres experts d'interroger les détenus. They had their own techniques. Ils avaient leur propre so this is the méthode. working principle. C'est ainsi que cela fonctionnait. Sometimes I also participate because I want to get more Moi information about that. J'y participais parfois car je voulais avoir plus d'informations à ce sujet. Council, at that correction center in Okansang, à ce centre d'Okansang, before questioning the detainees, did they use Avant any torture? Des détenus, did they beat the detainees in order to get the confessions? Les détenus pour leur bah, extraire answer. des aveux. There were techniques Réponse. at first. Certaines techniques étaient utilisées. We could not force. We could not torture and nous ne pouvions pas les forcer. Nous ne pouvions question pas les the detainees because the answer would not be correct. So Car first, dans ce cas-là, les réponses n'auraient pas ask été exactes. Repeatedly. Il fallait donc tout d'abord poser to la question de façon the répétée tactics or the strategies of the detainees. pour percer à jour la tactique. Later on, du détenu. We invite them. Ensuite, we ask them again and again. Nous and répétions if they encore et toujours les questions. Do not tell us. Et si we may do it. Le prisonnier. But of course, ne it is not. Pas, eh bien, beyond the limitations. Faire, mais il y avait certaines limites. Look, me that. Council. Question. With regards to the detainees who were stubborn and you got information saying that those detainees were cruel. Did you ever kill detainees? Par ailleurs, vous aviez appris que ces okay, détenus étaient the barbares. Est-ce que vous avez été amené à les tuer? Council, Mr. President, Le this question may incriminate against the witness. L'avocat du témoin, the cette the question est de nature à amener le témoin à s'incriminer. I would like to remind the le lawyer that Maître, the security center in Ogunsang is not the main focus of the hearing. n'est pas l'objet principal de la présente audience. We limit to the structure and the working communication only. Et so des communications. we have to distinguish between the question relevant to the il faut donc voir si une question and question which are not relevant to the proceeding. Posé s'inscrit dans le so cadre de l'audience d'aujourd'hui. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Sanaron. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The President, Le Mr. President. Witness, do you answer that question Témoin. or you deserve your right not to answer that question? Voulez-vous répondre ou non? Mr. Witness, Le Témoin. I would like not to answer that question. Je ne souhaite pas répondre à la the question. President. The President, the Council, you may proceed. Le Président. Maître, allez-y. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Maître Sonaron. Merci, Monsieur le Président. No. At the re-education center in Okansai. Au centre de rééducation d'Okansai. You were the chief of the center. 
vous étiez chef. Vous releviez de la division 801, n'est-ce pas Réponse. Oui, 801. Council, question. You have testified that you have talked about the revolutionary flag. Vous avez parlé du magazine Etendard révolutionnaire. You said that those who were members of the party would receive the recevait cette publication. À l'époque, étiez-vous membre du parti et receviez-vous l'étendard révolutionnaire Réponse. During that period, I was not a full right member. À l'époque, je n'étais pas encore membre de plein droit. Council. Question. So you mean that you did not receive the revolutionary flag? You have not read the revolutionary flag, and you have not seen that. Is it correct? You have not read this publication, and you have not seen it. Answer. Of course, I did not read, but I read the article. Answer. Of course, I did not read, but I used to see it. Answer. Of course, I did not read, but I used to see it. Answer. Of course, I did not read, but I used to see it. Answer. Of course, I did not read, but I used to see it. Answer. Of course, I did not read, but I used to see it. Answer. Of course, I did not read, but I used to see it. Answer. Because I also want to know about the development about the contents of the revolutionary flag as well. Dans les temps de Council, I would like Question. you to clarify. You said that you Veuillez have préciser. not read, vous dites but you have seen it, and then you said that you want to know vu. about the content. So, how can you know about the content when you see the flag only? Parce que vous vouliez transformer le contenu. Comment pouviez-vous connaître le contenu rien qu'en voyant cette publication? <coughs> Answer. La réponse. I have received two issues of reçu deux numéros revolutionary de flag. Revolutionnaire. And in the future, I would become the member of the party. Et plus tard, je devais devenir membre du parti. Sometimes. There were study sessions, so that we can move forward. We know, visant à nous faire progresser. I had the commitment to move forward. Je t'ai déterminé à progresser. I had the clear direction for my future. Je savais exactement dans quelle voie je m'engageais. Kim Ahmed Zbnawi. Council, I do not have any further questions. Je n'ai plus de questions à poser. Merci. Bah, Akun. The president, thank you. Merci. Right now, I would like to give the floor to the council for Mr. Kusampan. La parole va être donnée à présent à la défense de Kusampan qui pourra interroger ce témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Je serai, je pense, le seul. Des deux avocats de M. Kiosampon à poser quelques questions de suivi à M. Chomsey. Monsieur, bonjour. Ma première question est très simple. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous indiquer quel est votre âge My name is Chao Msai. Réponse. Je m'appelle Chao Msai. I am 63 years old. J'ai 63 ans. Quelle est votre date de naissance, si vous la connaissez What is your date of birth, if you know it
I was born on the 15th of September 1950. I ask you that question because I noticed a minor detail de vos entretiens avec les enquêteurs du tribunal lorsque vous avez été interrogé à trois reprises en 2009 à chaque fois au, cours de, au début de ces trois rencontres vous avez indiqué que vous aviez 49 ans or si l'on en croit ce que vous dites à propos de votre date de naissance euh, vous n'en aviez pas 49 mais 59. You have just us. You were Et not 49 years of age, je voudrais vous demander comment expliquez-vous cette, so how do you explain cette erreur de 10 ans sur votre âge Est-ce que vous avez relu in your age? Euh, les dépositions qui vous Did étaient soumises pour read, signature read avant your testimony that you had signed off on previously. Yes, I have read, and I, t I said 59 years old because that was in 1999. But the writer wrote 49. I got confused between number four and number five. I did not tell the lie. I did not tell the lie. So if I want to tell lie, I could have changed my name. Je mentir, j'aurais pu changer mon nom. Je ne cherche pas à vous accuser du tout de mensonge. C'est pas du tout l'objet de ma question. C'est juste de savoir si vous avez relu vos dépositions avant de les signer. Parce que trois fois de suite, vous déclarez avoir 49 ans quand vous en avez 59, et trois fois de suite, cette erreur passe à travers votre relecture. Donc, est-ce que vous vous souvenez si avant de signer vos dépositions lors de vos entretiens avec les enquêteurs? And three occurrences where you have signed off on that detail. Therefore, did you uh, have a chance to reread the document that you ultimately signed? I did not pay attention to that. Je n'ai pas fait attention à cela. I read the written record, and then it looked appropriate. But of course, I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age at the time. I did not examine my age avant de rejoindre la révolution, vous avez indiqué que vous étiez un simple paysan. Je voudrais vous demander davantage de précisions, à savoir, est-ce que, avant de rejoindre la révolution, vous aviez suivi des études, et si oui, jusqu'où avez-vous été à l'école, par exemple At the time, I attended school for around five years. Je suis allé à l'école. I finished grade seven and moved into grade eight. Pendant environ cinq ans, j'ai terminé la septième année et je suis passé en huitième année du primaire. À quel âge aviez-vous quitté l'école? And at what age did you leave school? I stopped studying in 1962-63. L'école en 1962-63.
Et c'est à l'école que vous aviez appris à lire et à écrire I learned how to write and J'ai read appris à lire et à that, écrire my own style as well. à l'école et aussi par moi-même. Par vous-même, comment avez-vous procédé On your own, how did you go about it I learned dictionaries. J'ai appris avec des dictionnaires. So, I joined a struggle and I Je me suis started rallié à la myself lutte. because I was a commander. I started it from the low-ranking official. Je me suis instruit parce que j'ai commencé à un rang peu élevé avant de devenir commandant. Alors justement, c'est de cela euh, dont je voudrais parler maintenant. Et tout d'abord, je voudrais vous demander si, avant de rejoindre euh, la révolution, et plus particulièrement l'armée révolutionnaire, en fait, euh, est-ce que avant ça, vous aviez suivi une formation militaire No, I did not attend any non. military training. Je However, reçu after formation militaire. joining the revolution, Mais I après some training. avoir adhéré à la révolution, je me suis formé. Lorsque l'on étudie votre déclaration sur euh, ce cursus dans la Révolution, l'on constate que, en 1970, à l'âge de 20 ans, vous rejoignez la Révolution, et qu'en 1971, un an plus tard, euh, vous êtes désigné chef d'une unité militaire et vous dites « j'ai mené des hommes au combat ». Alors justement, euh, pendant cette année, so during that year, between 1970 and 1971, did you receive any specific or particular military training to have been chosen as a military superior, military high-ranking or mid-ranking official? How was it that you were selected to be promoted? In order to save time, I pour gagner du temps, cannot answer this question. Je ne peux pas Sorry. répondre à la question. Excusez-moi. Est-ce que la réponse que vous donneriez à cette question serait susceptible is the answer uh, that you could potentially provide to that answer likely to incriminate you? Is that the reason why you are unable to answer my question? I do not want to describe the period Je ne veux pas décrire before I was given, given any assignment, la période that qui a précédé le moment où l'on m'a confié certaines tâches. Il fallait pour, ce voie, pour cela avoir des atouts, des points so forts. That person is not a good person, is not si quelqu'un ne convenait pas, si quelqu'un n'était pas déterminé à lutter, on ne lui confiait aucun poste.
Est-ce que votre souhait de ne pas préciser les qualités qui vous ont fait choisir est, un, est motivé par euh, votre humilité Est-ce que je comprends bien euh, votre position Est-ce qu'il y a autre chose Je ne suis pas certain de la raison pour laquelle vous refusez de répondre à une question qui me paraît assez simple. S'agit-il d'une volonté de ne pas vanter vos propres mérites Simple. Is it because you don't want to boast on your own merits or qualities and achievements? You link to that issue. That may be correct. C'est peut-être le cas. Mr. Shamsai, le président. I would like to remind you about Monsieur your témoin, duty and responsibility as de vous rappeler a witness. Vos devoirs en tant que témoin. I predict that there might be such a situation during the proceeding. So before the hearing, I told you about your responsibility and duties already. Et je vous In your capacity as a witness, you have to answer the question en tant que témoin, vous put devez répondre aux questions posées par l'une quelconque des parties ou par l'un des so juges. This is your responsibility, Il s'agit d'un devoir duty. qui vous incombe. And with regard to the second duty, you have to tell the truth. Par ailleurs, something il vous appartient de dire seen, something la vérité that you have sur ce que vous avez vécu ou observed. vu ou observé. So you have to answer all the questions. Vous devez donc répondre à toutes les questions posées. Except when Sauf there is any objection from the other party. En cas d'objection so if the objection is une autre admissible, the chamber si will tell you not to answer the question. Retenu, la chambre vous enjoint de ne pas répondre. So in that case, we will conduct the Deliberation, and then we will tell you not to answer that question. La chambre délibère, le cas échéant, elle vous dit de ne pas répondre. You can consult your counsel, and if you believe that that question may incriminate against you, you can use your right. Si vous pensez qu'une question donnée risque de vous amener à vous incriminer, vous pouvez exercer le droit qui vous est reconnu de ne pas répondre dans ce cas précis. Je vous prie donc de bien vous concentrer et de répondre aux questions posées par cette partie. L'objectif consiste à œuvrer en faveur de la manifestation de la vérité. This is related to the, uh, the value of your testimony previously. We want to assess whether what you said previously Il de vérifier was reliable or not. Si vos déclarations antérieures sont fiables ou non. C'est pour cela que ces questions vous sont posées. Est-ce que vous comprenez? Of course, this morning I told Réponse. you about this. Ou plutôt. Se reprend l'interprète. Le so juge continue. Je vous l'ai déjà dit ce matin, veuillez vous concentrer et répondre aux questions posées, sauf dans les situations before. que je viens de vous exposer. The President, Council, you may uh, put your question again, the last question you ask, uh, because he, uh, it appears that he, may, he forgets uh, the question. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Monsieur President. Témoin, uh, witness, uh, can you please explain to uh, the Chamber what uh, justifies the fact that barely d'enrôlement militaire After au sein de la Révolution, vous avez été promu à un grade supérieur. Qu'est-ce qui justifie que vous avez sélectionné à cette fin de commander plusieurs hommes et de les mener au combat Je vous invite à faire
มาไกลนึกเชื่อมาชายจูนบ้านขนมหรือยากรรมชนะบันไดให้ได้บ้านเชื่อมาเมื่อจูนที่ over a year uh, of my service then I was appointed to be a, a team leader a unit leader I Uh, told the court earlier on that uh, this was based on my merit, uh, based on the achievement I uh, uh, had made uh, throughout my work. I knew how to address uh, the challenges uh, faced. I, I was a responsible person. I uh, could uh, handle the task that I was assigned to. Uh, for this reason, I was uh, promoted uh, to be a unit leader. Je vous remercie. Thank you for that answer. Et pendant cette année qui va de votre And engagement jusqu'à 1971 et votre promotion, est-ce que vous recevez euh, promoted, un enseignement technique being, militaire Ou kind of est-ce que vous apprenez seulement sur le tas Following my service in the military, uh, I had the training on the job. On every year, I had to uh, attend uh, training and uh, continued uh, training on a regular basis. J'ai appris sur le tas, mais ensuite j'ai recevé des formations régulièrement. Ma question porte sur la période, sur l'année qui suit votre engagement. Est-ce que pendant cette année qui a suivi votre engagement, vous avez reçu des formations de théorie militaire, de commandement, de stratégie, de training en termes de stratégie ou en termes de stratégie Je parle entre 1970 et 1971. Donc je parle entre la période entre 1970 et 1971. During the period between 1970 and 1971, I did not receive any technical uh, or specific training. I, uh, in other words, I did not attend any particular training session. But after that, uh, I, I did attend uh, subsequent training uh, given. Lorsque vous étiez dans l'armée révolutionnaire, um, jusqu'à combien d'hommes avez-vous commandé Army, au maximum How many men did, were, did you command at most From 1970 to 1971, I was a team leader and I led a group of 12 people. Et ensuite, jusqu'à combien d'hommes avez-vous commandé au maximum 12 personnes au départ et après Then in 1973, 1974, I was the commander of a platoon. Then I managed some 70 men at that time. Je dirigeais quelque 70 hommes à cette époque. Continuez, je vous en prie. Please continue. Nineteen seventy three, nineteen seventy four, eighty five. Then I managed seventy seven men. 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 Then
until uh, we were mobilized au uh, to attack Phnom Penh. Et ensuite, est-ce que then, vous êtes allé au-delà de ce grade ou est-ce que jusqu'à votre further? changement d'affectation fin 1976, euh, vous restez euh, à, ce, à ce grade de commandant the, adjoint de compagnie uh, avec uh, une centaine d'hommes sous vos ordres uh, Deputy sous commander vos ordres, with about 100 men uh, under uh, your command before you changed uh, locations. Then I was uh, transferred out of that uh, military structure. Then I was uh, appointed uh, the uh, chief of the uh, department. Ne vous inquiétez pas, mais la traduction que j'ai reçu de, de votre réponse n'est pas très claire, avant clear. de devenir so chef d'un centre de rééducation, re jusqu'à combien d'hommes au maximum avez-vous commandé maximum, uh, At that time, I, when I was the deputy Alors que um, commander uh, of a uh, company, I managed uh, some 100 uh, men. This was the number uh, of uh, people uh, under my supervision. C'était le nombre de personnes qui dont j'avais la responsabilité. Et ma question, c'est de savoir. Question, fact, vous n'êtes jamais allé au-delà. So c'est bien ça. Never vous n'avez jamais commandé more plus. Than What than 100 men, as you're telling us now. Is that the case? No. No. Mr. President, you want to Mr. President, maybe should we uh, take the break now or? The President, thank you. The time is now appropriate for a short break. Uh, the Chamber will uh, adjourn now until uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Court officer is instructed uh, to facilitate the waiting room for the witness and his duty counsel during the break and have them back to the uh, court room before 3 o'clock. The court is now adjourned. Some change, Croucher. Veuillez vous lever.